Hello and welcome to the Monday Morning Reset. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Uh, this morning, we're going to continue in our series on the Beatitudes. And so I want to start off of, as we have every week by just reading that passage from Matthew 5. This is Jesus speaking, Jesus' words in this sermon. And what he says is, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. You are blessed when they insult you and persecute you and falsely say every kind of evil against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice because your reward is great in heaven, for that is how they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And this week, I want us to focus on this line, and this line in verse 7, blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy. And so I want to break that down. What is mercy? I feel like we throw this word around a lot in church and, and we sometimes don't have the greatest understanding. But if you just Google it, if you Google mercy, what it will tell you is that it is to show a compassion or forgiveness towards someone uh, whom it is in your power to punish or to harm. To show mercy means I have power to punish this person. I have the power to hurt this person somehow because of uh, my position in their life, my position of authority, my position of influence. But instead of harming, instead of punishing, instead of doing something hurtful, something damaging, I'm going to show compassion. I'm going to show forgiveness. And, and when we talk about power, right, we, we don't really talk about that as Christians. We don't often think about people we have power over or influence over because we spend a lot of time you know talking about um, being in submission to god being obedient to him we talk about god's power but what of our power and it's an uncomfortable thing to wrestle with it's it's kind of uncomfortable to think about especially as christians we have this kind of focus on humility but i want to challenge you and ask you who is it in your life that you have power over who do you have influence over uh, maybe you have employees who are under you. You have subordinates. Uh, maybe you have uh, kids that, that are in your house and you have power and authority over them. Or maybe you just want to consider the people you know who are at the fringe of your social circle, right? You're, you're in, but they're kind of on the out. And, and you have the power to bring them in. The people you have power over technically because you have more money than them. You're more fortunate than them. How can we show compassion? How can we show mercy towards these people? And it is as simple as refusing to spread that piece of gossip, that piece of gossip that we know about someone that gives us power over them because we know something that they don't want out. And when we hold our tongues, that's a form of mercy. When we see that single mom at the grocery store who doesn't quite have enough to cover the bill and we decide to help pay for her groceries, that's an act of mercy. When we're in a fight with our significant other or, or we have a feud going on with someone in our family and we decide to, to begin those conversations and restore the relationship and ask for forgiveness, that is mercy. And so I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you this week to think about the places that that you might not realize you have influence, you have power, and, and ask yourself, how can I show mercy? Jesus says, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Um, and I think we can all point to Jesus as the one who would show us that mercy, right? We were so undeserving, and yet he died on the cross. He gave his life a man with no sin, the son of God, literally giving up his life and, and helping to restore that relationship that we had broken. We deserved to pay that price. We deserve to die because of our own sin. But Jesus showed mercy. He demonstrated compassion and forgiveness 
to all of humanity, a human race that he had authority over. He had power over. He had the ability as the son of God to do harm, to punish us. And he chose forgiveness. He chose compassion. He chose mercy. So this week, I want you to do the same, examine the areas in your life, the people you have influence over, the people you have power over, as uncomfortable as a thought as that might be to wrestle with, and then challenge yourself to show mercy, be compassionate, be forgiving this week. May the Lord bless and keep you.